The state of California will allow fully autonomous vehicles without safety drivers to be tested on public roads for the first time. The state's DMV just approved new rules that will pave the way for companies like Uber, Waymo, and GM to rule the road. While many are still getting their heads around this concept of self-driving cars, an engineer has built the first self-driving motorcycle, apparently. Let's take a look here. Oh, very interesting. The inventor of the motorcycle showed off what the vehicle can do on an airfield in the UK. He says that he believes such vehicles could one day become safer than those driven by people who are often distracted behind the wheel. Now at 5, beyond Boston, surrounding cities and towns are now in the fast lane for self-driving car tests. It seems everyone wants a piece of this new technology. Yeah, today, Governor Baker and his administration signed a regional deal that really expands the testing area for autonomous vehicles. Cambridge, Worcester, and Weymouth are among more than a dozen communities that are part of this new agreement. Uh, I'll tell you right now, the, the autonomous vehicle is going to be life-changing for so many of us. Full speed ahead for autonomous transportation in the Bay Area. Driverless shuttles will begin testing on public streets. KPX 5's Jessica Flores is in Dublin this morning with more details. Jessica. Good morning, Kenny. Well, the transportation agency here in the Dublin Pleasanton area will begin testing those driverless shuttles. They're autonomous vehicles. They're battery powered. Time now, 605. Later on today, Governor Pete Ricketts will sign a bill allowing automated vehicle technology in our state. This comes after lawmakers cleared the way for companies to test self-driving cars in Nebraska. A computer can do a better job than a human can because it, it's always concentrating. So for commuting, actually, the, the problem is that you're, you're not necessarily completely focused on what you're doing. But going forward, we may see a different sort of approach to buying cars, where actually you buy into a car access program, and insurance is kind of baked into that. We're beginning to see things like that already. Volvo, for example, has a program called Care by Vol Volvo, where you don't buy a car. You pay a given amount per month, and you get a car, plus insurance and everything else that you need. It's interesting. I interviewed the CEO of Uber a couple of months ago, and they were introducing their, fly their driving taxis. Mm. People will begin to change their minds. And for a company like Uber, they spend most of their money on the salaries of drivers so mm. if they can actually take that person out of the car they not only get a lot cheaper but they get rid of a lot of the risks that they've had with background checks and things like that some of the bigger problems that they faced suddenly all go away well i mean it's hugely disruptive for the labor industry too yeah, right definitely. you lose those are all oh, jobs, jobs yeah. yeah place them with robots self-driving cars that changes how people are making a dollar absolutely does. jim stevens thanks for that thank you